Hello dear students, me Seema Paul will begin a new topic, Growing Plants. We all know that plants germinate not only from seeds but also from roots, stems and leaves even. Let us look up the essential key points we will be discussing in this class. Number A. Germination. Number B. Growing plants from roots, stems, leaves and spores. Number C. Dispersal of seed. Number D. Agriculture. Structure of a seed. First, let us discuss about the structure of a seed. Here in this picture, we can observe both kinds of seeds, the dicot and monocot. We already studied about it in the last class. Dicot. They have two cotyledons inside them. They are thick and fleshy and can store food. Example, pea, bean. Monocot. They have only one thin cotyledon inside. They do not store food inside them. Food is stored in some other part of the seed. Example, rice, maize. An outer covering called the seed coat protects the baby plant inside the seed. The seed coat has a tiny hole through which the seed get water. Cartilagens store food for the baby plants. Germination Germination is the process by which an organism grows from a seed or similar structure. The most common example of germination is the sprouting of a seedling from a seed of an angiosperm and gymnosperm. In this picture, we can observe how a seed grows into seedlings or a new baby plant. The seed is planted to the soil. After some days, we can see the radical coming out of it. It later develops into hypocotyl. The root develops and grows below the soil. The seed gets air, water and warmth. The seed soaks up water. Seed coat breaks and the root emerges. The new plant develops root and a shoot. As the plant grows in size, it develops leaves. The cotyledons shrink and disappear. And thus, the new baby plant develops gradually. Dispersal of seed. Seed dispersal is the movement, spread or transport of seeds away from the parent plant. Plants have limited mobility and rely upon a variety of dispersal vectors to transport their propagules, including both abiotic vectors such as wind, water and living vectors like birds and animals. There are five main modes of seed dispersal. Gravity, wind, water, ballistic and by animals. Modes of seed dispersal. Dispersal by gravity. Large, round, heavy fruits just drop straight off the tree onto the ground when they are ripe. If they have tough outer shell, they may roll some distance from the parent plant. Dispersal by wind. Seeds of certain plants are very light and have a wing-like structures or hair on them. These seeds are carried, easily carried away by the wind 
from one place to another. Example are maple and dandelion seeds. Dispersal by water. Seeds of plants such as the lotus and coconut are spongy or have a fibrous covering which helps them to float on water. Water carries these seeds from one place to another. Dispersal by explosion. The fruits of some plants such as peas and beans burst open when they are ripe, scattering the seeds in all directions. This method of seed dispersal is called ballistic dispersal or by explosion. Dispersal by animals. Some seeds such as cockliver have spines or hooks. These seeds stick to the bodies of animals and birds and are thus carried away from the mother plant. Birds and animals eat fruits of various plants. Undigested seeds of these fruits pass through their digestive systems intact and are dispersed to other areas. Growing plants from roots. New plants can grow from the roots of carrot, radish, turnip, beetroot and sweet potato as these are modified roots. Food is stored in these roots. Modified roots can be propagated vegetatively when planted in the soil. The buds present on the roots grow as a leafy shoot called slips above the ground and adventitious root at their bases. Each slips give rise to a new plant. Growing plants from stem. New plants can also grow from stems. Potato, ginger, sugarcane grows from stems. Rose, hibiscus and money plant can grow from the mother plant by stem cutting. Modified stems grows horizontally known as the rhizomes. They have nodes, internodes and scale leaf. The stem or the tuber is more or less cylindrical in shape. It is covered by brown colored layer. It bears many eye-like structure. Each eye represents the nodes. It also possesses a semi-lunar leaf scar and an auxiliary bud in its axil. The eyes help in vegetative propagation. You will notice that they invariably arise from the nodes present in the modified stems and roots of this plant like potato, banana, ginger, sugarcane and dahlia. Onion and garlic is stem modification. Adventitious roots are grown from discoid in the soil. Growing plants from leaves and spores. New plants grow from leaves, those has many buds on its margin. Plants do grow from spores present on the side of the leaves. Adventitious buds arises from the notches present at the margins of the leaf of bryophyllum and ferns grow from its spores present underside of the leaf. Agriculture Agriculture is the process of producing food, feed, fiber and many other desired products by the cultivation of certain plants. The practice of growing plants on a large scale for food or other purposes 
is called agriculture. Stages of agriculture. There are six stages of agriculture. First, the field is ploughed. Second, manure or fertilizers are added to the soil. Third, seeds are sown. Fourth, the crops are irrigated or watered. Fifth, the crops are sprayed with chemicals called pesticide to protect from the pest. And lastly, number six, the crops are harvested. Crops. A cultivated plant that is grown on a large scale commercially, especially a cereal, fruit, vegetable, are called crops. These are of four types. Number A, put crops. Number B, cash crops. Number C, horticulture crops. And number D, plantation crops. The food crops are like wheat, rice, maize, millets. Cash crops are like sugarcane, tobacco, jute, cotton, oil seeds. Horticulture crops are fruits and vegetables and flowers. Plantation crops are tea, coffee, coconut and rubber. Crops need water and nutrients from the soil to grow well. Nutrients are provided by manures and fertilizers. Specific fertilizers provide one or more nutrients, whereas manures generally improve soil fertility by increasing the humus content. Monsoon crops. Monsoon crops. Kharif crops are the crops which are sown at the beginning of the rainy season that is between April and May. Rabi crops are the crops that are sown at the end of the monsoon or at the beginning of the winter season, that is between September and October. These crops are generally known as the monsoon crops. Examples of the Kharif crops are the maize, rice, groundnut, pulses and millets. And examples of the Rabi crops are wheat, oat, chickpeas, mustard, almond, and broccoli. Words to know. Let us learn some of the difficult words. Number A, bud. A small swelling from which a new shoot, leaf, flower, or a new plant can grow. Number B, angiosperm, a plant of a large group that comprises those that have flowers and produce seeds enclosed within a carbon. Gymnosperm, a plant of a group that comprises those that have seeds unprotected by an ovary or fruit. Let's recap. Let's recap today whatever we have studied in this class. Number A, we have studied about the seed structure. Number B, germination. Number C, dispersal of seeds by various agents. Number D, development of new plants from seed, stem, root, leaf and spore. Number E, agriculture. Number F, stages of agriculture and lastly number G, crops and different types of crops. Assignment Germination of gram seeds Material required A plastic glass, soil, soaked gram seed Method Put the soil inside the plastic glass. 
sow the soaked gram seeds in the soil and water it regularly. Keep the plastic glass near the window pane for few days and observe it. Thank you dear students for watching this video. Until then, stay connected.